managing cognitive factors. Trading is like playing a game of strategy, except instead of controlling armies, you're dealing with stocks and currencies. And just like in any game, your mind plays a crucial role in determining your success. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of the psychology behind trading. Recognizing cognitive biases is the first step towards making rational decisions in the market. Let's face it, our brains are wired to make mistakes. We tend to have a bias towards certain information, leading us to ignore or dismiss evidence that doesn't align with our preconceived notions. But in trading, being objective is key, so it's essential to train your mind to recognize these biases and analyze market trends objectively. Now let's talk about making rational decisions in an irrational market. Trading can be a roller coaster of emotions, and it's easy to get caught up in the hype or panic when prices are fluctuating. But if you want to succeed, you need to keep a level head. Instead of following your gut instincts, rely on a sound trading strategy and stick to it. Emotions have no place in the world of trading. The market doesn't care if you're scared or greedy, so you better leave those emotions at the door. Impulsive behavior is another enemy of successful trading. The temptation to make quick and impulsive decisions can be strong, especially when you see others raking in profits. But remember, trading is a marathon, not a sprint. So, take a deep breath, analyze the information, and make calculated moves. Avoid jumping on every bandwagon that passes by. Phew, managing cognitive factors in trading is no easy feat. But hey, if it were easy, everyone would be a superstar trader, right? So recognize your cognitive biases, analyze the market objectively, make rational decisions, and avoid impulsive behavior. With a disciplined and focused mind, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of trading. But wait, don't forget that even the most successful traders sometimes seek professional help. So, if you find yourself struggling with your emotions or making consistent mistakes, don't be afraid to reach out to mental health support, trading coaches, or psychologists specializing in trading psychology. There's no shame in seeking guidance from those who've walked the path before you. All right, now that you've learned how to manage the cognitive factors in trading, it's time to move on to the next step, developing a trading psychology plan. But hey, don't worry, we've got you covered in the next section. So buckle up and get ready to take control of your trading mindset. Let's do this. Developing a trading psychology plan. So you're ready to take on the wild and unpredictable world of trading? Well, buckle up because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Developing a solid trading psychology plan is crucial if you want to survive in this jungle of buy and sell. Let's dive in and explore some key points that will keep you on track. Firstly, setting realistic goals is like having a map in this crazy maze. Without it, you'll be wandering aimlessly and we all know what happens to lost traders. They end up broke and crying in the corner. So, set your goals wisely and preferably, not to be the next Warren Buffett by the end of the week. Creating a routine is another essential aspect of a trading psychology plan. It's like having a ritual before going into battle. By establishing a routine, you condition your mind to be in the right state when facing those price charts. Maybe wear your lucky socks or play your power anthem, whatever gets you in the zone. Ah, self-discipline and patience, the two elusive virtues that separate the winners from the losers. Let's be honest, the markets are not going to cater to your impulsive desires. Getting rich quick is a myth, like finding a unicorn in your backyard. So, practice some self-control, my dear trader, and learn to wait for those perfect opportunities. Last but not least, keeping a trading diary is like having a record of your trading exploits. It's a place where you can vent your frustrations analyze your mistakes, and celebrate your triumphs. Plus, it makes for an exciting read when you look back at it and realize how far you've come. Remember, my fellow adventurer, that developing a trading psychology plan is not a one-time thing. It's a constant process of self-improvement and adapting to the ever-changing market conditions. So, grab your trading sword, put on your armor of discipline, and let's conquer these trading battles together. Now that we've covered the essentials of developing a trading psychology plan, it's time to put these strategies into action. But wait, there's more. In the next section, we'll explore the importance of seeking professional help in managing the emotional and cognitive factors of trading. Stay tuned.
So we've reached the conclusion of this roller coaster ride into the psychology of trading. Let's quickly recap the key takeaways to ensure we don't lose focus while diving into the market. Firstly, understanding and managing emotional factors is crucial. We need to learn how to tame the wild beasts of fear, anxiety, and greed. Don't let them dictate your trading decisions, or you'll end up chasing losses like a ferocious cheetah chasing a gazelle. Secondly, cognitive factors play a big role too. Watch out for those sneaky cognitive biases that can cloud your judgment faster than a foggy morning. Stay objective, make rational decisions, and avoid impulsive behavior like thinking you can predict the market better than a swami. Lastly, seeking professional help is never a bad thing. Whether it's getting mental health support, hiring a trading coach, or consulting with psychologists who specialize in trading psychology, never hesitate to seek assistance. They can be your guiding lights in the dark shadows of the market. Now that we're armed with these insights, go ahead and develop your own trading psychology plan. Set realistic goals, create a routine, practice self-discipline and patience. Yes, it's harder than resisting the urge to eat that extra slice of pizza. And keep a trading diary to learn from your successes and failures. Remember, trading is not just about numbers and charts. It's about understanding ourselves, managing our emotions and biases, and creating a personalized approach that suits our unique quirks. So. Happy trading, my fellow adventurers, and may the market be ever in your favor.